So we had a bit of Ralphie time. I mean, <sighs> I'm not complaining. I did get the score prediction right, which was good. I say it'd be a tight game. I didn't expect it to be that tight. I honestly didn't expect West Ham to be that shit either, but they were. They were atrocious. So can you say that that was our setup that made them so bad? Because Declan Rice, as good a game as he had, I thought, was all in his own half. He thought he was composing that, but it was no danger. Antonio was pocketed by Rafael Varane today, and in part Harry Maguire as well. I thought our fullbacks were outstanding at times. And our midfield, McFred, actually held its own against a very decent West Ham midfield in Sutek and Rice. So you've got to be happy with that. I mean, for West Ham to not have a single shot on target says a lot. This was a team that was ahead of us before this game and everyone was lording them up like they are some next best thing that was going to break the so-called big six. But they didn't, I didn't see that today. That was their strongest team. And from what I was watching, as boring at times as it was, nutritious as it was, I thought we controlled the game. I thought the possession was better for us. I thought our passing was better. And in the end, I thought we probably deserved the win. More than West Ham deserved it anyway. <clears throat> I mean, I said there the defence. We started to get consistency. Harry Maguire still doesn't play ahead of Lindelof for me at the moment. I thought Lindelof was unlucky for him to deal with the circumstances and be out of the team <clears throat> uh, that he's had to deal with this week. And I said all along, I said I said it this morning, I tweeted it out. I wasn't happy with Maguire being in the team, but it's not his fault. And he came in today and he played all right. He took his chance and that's what you've got to do in this team. And Ralph's got a decision now. Martial came on today and had a little bit of an impact. Another decision needs making. Sancho in the wings, still nowhere near the team. Do you know what I mean? Rashford's got two winners in two games now off the bench. <coughs> Ronaldo doesn't really do much at the moment and hasn't done much recently in the last two games that we've both won. Would there be a case for bringing maybe a Greenwood into the middle and bringing Ronaldo out? How much power has Ralph got? These are all big, big questions that I don't think we're going to get the answers to until the end of the season. But back to the game today, I mean, <coughs> it was important. Winter break coming, two weeks off. I said it beforehand, two wins this week against Brentford and West Ham puts us in a decent position. In fact, it has put us back in the top four until Arsenal probably beat Burnley tomorrow. But the momentum that that could give us, the confidence that that can take to the training ground for two weeks, I don't think we're going to get like Ollie did and letting the players go off on holiday for two weeks in this winter break. I think Ralph is going to work them. I think Ralph's going to get him to the training ground and he's going to work on them systems. He's going to work on the transitions because transitionally, it wasn't quick enough today. It was very lethargic from both teams. And I thought we sort of fell into West Ham's trap of it being that sort of slow paced game. Because that's how they set out. A 4-4-2 from David Moyes, very solid, with no creation at all. And we sort of fell into that trap of the game going that way. Only for Ralph then changing it, which I thought changed the game with his substitutions. Everyone's picked up on that in all the previous fan vlogs as well. But you can't argue with Martial bringing it down laying in Cavani to lay in Rashford for the winner. All three substitutes combining. Give credit to Ralph for that because we didn't really create anything in the second half until they came on. So that's Ralph's call. He's seen what was happening in the game and luckily for us, acted on it in time for us to get the win. Yep, 93rd minute, but who doesn't love a 93rd minute winner? Especially when you're keeping a clean sheet and the opposition hasn't even threatened your goal. So yeah, you could say it was lucky at the time of the goal, but no one can really say that we were lucky in the game and we should have lost that game. We're talking about a match for a change where David De Gea isn't man of the match. I mean, no one's talking about Dave today. So for me, that is one of the biggest pluses. An absolute. Because previous weeks, everyone's like, and we heard uh, Thomas Frank talking against Brentford. Even Ranić against Brentford talking without De Gea, we wouldn't have been winning these games. Well, not today. That was the difference today. We could have had four or five man of the matches today in different areas doing their roles right. Forward line, I still got issues with. We need to figure out who is going to be there and keep that forward line in to keep consistency so we can work on systems and transitions because the defence is looking like it's getting itself together now. The team is putting in the work rate a lot more. I noticed that today. I thought Bruno was an unsung hero today because his defensive work was as good as he's passing and controlling and driving the game forward, I thought. And then I thought, Alanga, defensive let was better than he was going forward today. But sometimes you have games like that when you need to do that. And Greenwood as well. There was a moment, I think, in that second half where Greenwood, <clears throat> after Gerard Bowen, ran the length of the pitch, taking about four players out. And Greenwood was in his position just to mop up 
tidy up, not lash the ball away, but play a nice ball inside and get us out again. These little things people don't pick up on are what are making us a better team. And they're keeping us rock solid. And the reason why, Antonio had nothing today. Rice was barely talked about. Bowen, England call-ups. Well, he didn't do much today, did he? Because our shape was bang on the money. And that's what you need to do in games like this sometimes. Moyes came for a draw, didn't get it. He's 15 and 0. Sorry, Moyes. That's just your old Trafford record. And I love it. <laughs> but all in all, two wins of the week. Four goals scored, one conceded. You can't argue with that. We're in the top four. Who'd have thought that four weeks ago? I mean, I was at the pits at Newcastle thinking that this was over, that the players had given up. And we've sort of turned it around now. We're in a position where <laughs> if we win our games. We get top four. It's all in our hands now. We've seen West Ham out the way. Spurs are playing Chelsea tomorrow. Chance there for gathering ground again. I know Arsenal will probably beat Burnley, but <clears throat> we've got all these teams to come. You know what I mean? And everyone's going to take points off each other. Right now, we have got a squad going forward that I think we can utilise to see ourselves through the rest of this season because teams are going to struggle and we're seeing West Ham didn't look fit enough today for me. <clears throat> this is where United can take advantage and I've said this before, our squad depth is immense. Sancho, I'm thinking where's he going to get in? 75 million in the summer, I don't think he gets in the team right now. No one's dislodging Alanga. Greenwood's doing his role well and we're starting to see them little bits of link up coming in. I do think the only issue I've got, <coughs> and it's a big one because of the name, is Ronaldo and who plays in that centre forward position. For me, I do think there's a spot for Martial or Rashford or Sancho on the left and Greenwood comes into the middle as a striker. Cavani can play there, but today Ronaldo was probably our weakest player. I can't believe I'm saying it, but it was the same against Brentford. It's a good problem to have, how Ralph handles the ego, <clears throat> and then when Pogba comes back, this is a big job, we know it's a big job, but we are seeing more of a team performance now, and we're playing as a team. I've seen that the last two games now, even against Aston Villa, it was more of a team. The structure and the system is there. We've just got to get better and better. It's been a good couple of weeks and we're going to have a nice two weeks off now, hopefully, <coughs> with these players working on more. Guys, my voice is hanging on by the tiniest little thread and I need this two weeks. Thank God that just happened and I'm going to go and put my feet up <laughs> and enjoy watching some highlights for a change. Cheers for watching. Let me know what you think below. Comment, obviously subscribe to United Stands. See you later.